Hello crafters, it's Jane Fires here with Fun Stamper's Journey, coach number 151. Today one of the cards that we're going to do is an Easter card and everything that's uh, in the card is coming out of Bloom This Way and this is our mini and it goes through the end of this month, the end of March, March 31st. What we're doing to using today is our Springfield prints and these are very very pretty. They're very bright in color. The piece we're using today is the front right here, the flowered one, but you can see they're all double-sided and it's an excellent buy. The other ones that we're using today will be two stamp sets. One is the Easter Blessings. We're using the cross out of it. And the other one for our words is coming out of Hope Anchors Bundle and we're using the Easter Blessings out of it. So everything that we're using is in our bloom this way. The few things that aren't are in our big catalog. Our base color today is watermelon fusion, whipped cream, lemongrass, oatmeal cookie, The other items that we're using today will be what we call heart sparkle drops. They're the shape of a little heart and they're all sparkly like a little rhinestone. This is the card that we're doing today. And it's the card that I call a double dutch card because it's got doors on it. Okay? And if you were like me growing up, some of your friends or neighbors may have had a door that actually looked like this. So I'm calling it the double dutch door. All right, let's begin. The first thing that you're going to need will be your card base. And this particular base is, measures uh, watermelon fusion, eight and a half by four and three fourths. No, I'm sorry, four and a fourth. And it's scored at three. Now one of the things I really like about Fun Stamper's Journey is our paper cutter because not only do you have the cutting blade but you also have the score blade. So when you do cards like this you can cut them and then you can go ahead and score them as well. Now out of a regular size eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock you'd get two of these and one of the bottom parts and these measure two and a quarter by three and, a, and three fourths. And all the measurements will be on my blog. But these are the two bases. Now the first thing you're going to do is put tape on the back of the smaller watermelon fusion. And what I used was what we call our terrible tape. Doesn't mean that it's bad, but it means you can rip it. And then one of my favorite tools is this bloom tool because it helps you get the backing off of all your tapes. And it will work on any tape that you have that is double sided. So we're going to peel those off and then we're going to take the edge of our card here and here and we're going to line it up with the base of our main base card here. And then press it down. Now I don't want the seam to show here so what we're doing now is taking the whipped cream card stock and again we're going to pull off the backing of the tape and of course I taped all these ahead of time to save some time now you'll notice here and I did this on purpose I have a little bit of tape that's uh, one off the edge well with this tape the thing that's nice is I can just fold it back and it will go right against itself and hold right there so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my whipped cream in my card base on the inside and tape it down. Now the anchor hopes the Easter blessing is the one that we're using and we're using the hazelnut blend ink. So we're going to stamp this on the inside. And I stamp this one towards the top because then as I send my cards out I can just write a note beneath it before signing it. So the inside is finished so now I'm going to the front of my card and I'm taking my lemongrass for the top and again I've already put my tape on it. Peel 
peel off my backing. And then line this piece up on my top door. Now if you're like me, it might be helpful if you move over your two bottom doors so that you can really see your top door evenly. And then put it on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put on our decorative uh, paper on the top of that one. And as you can see, I have my flowers. And so I will center that on my lemongrass at the top. And all the measurements for all these will be on my blog. So you can look, go to my blog and you can find all the measurements. Okay, so now I'm working on my two small doors <coughs> on the bottom. And again, I'll peel off my backing to my lemongrass. And center it on one of my doors. And then take my other piece of lemongrass and do the same. And then I'll take my two decorative pieces, and on this one I only put one piece on. You can see how easy this is to tear. So there's really no problem in case you don't have a pair of scissors right handy. You can just tear it. Take my bloom tool and press it down well, and then take the same bloom tool and peel the backings off. Center it on one of my small green ones and press it down. Okay, here's the second one for the other door. and press it down. So now my base card is finished with all of my little doors and all my decorative paper. So now we're going to go on. Now what we're going to do is stamp in the hazelnut blend our cross on a piece of, of uh, oatmeal cookie. And I've already done that one to have it done ahead of time. So here is this. And then we're going to take a, a piece of our um, natural thread and we're going to make some circles. Now, for me, the easiest way to do this is I just wrap it around three or four of my fingers a few times. And then I hold here in the back my two ends in the middle. I think you can see that. And then I just very lightly pull my threads so that some of them are small, some of them are large, some of them are medium, however I want to do it here. So now I have it that way. So now what I'm going to do is take a small 3D foam square and I'm going to put it right here in the center towards the bottom of my top part of my card, of my flower part, my longest one. I'm going to peel my backing off and then I'm going to lay my thread on top of it. My thread will now hold it. So now I'm going to take my cross, and on the back side, our little glue dots fit just perfect. So I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one just down, just a little ways. And the reason I'm putting two on is because I want them at the top, because I don't want to hold my door closed. And the one that I've already put on here isn't showing too much. So I'm going to put the other two on, because then I know my cross will hold on. And then I'm going to take my Pro Detail scissors, which I love because nothing sticks to them. 
and they'll cut anything. And I'm going to take my two long pieces that are still left over and cut those off. So now, here's my thread you can see. Here's my cross, but I've got one more thing I want to do. And that is I want to take one of my little sparkle hearts and I want to put it in the center, and my bloom tool works fine for this. I want to put it in the very center of the cross. And I do that because it's a reminder of love. Jesus had such love for us that he sent us, came to earth and died so that we could be saved. Love, no greater love. And there's our Easter card, and inside when you open it up, it says Easter blessings. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of me. My website is www.funstampersjourney slash angelhugs. And my blog is janie-angelhugs.blogspot.com. Or you can email me at serif, S-E-R-I-F, it's my last name backwards, one, at aol.com. Have a blessed day.